Richard Hauptmann has been on trial for the alleged murder of the Lindbergh baby for four weeks and still the case goes on. Public interest in no way abates. Not even snowstorms and appalling weather conditions can keep away the crowds from the courthouse at Flemington, New Jersey. People queue up in the snow rather than miss a seat at this trial, which, like winter, still holds a nation in its grip. The Crystal Palace echoes to a glorious chorus of melody. Canaries and nightingales compete in piping song at the national show of caged birds. Hello, everybody. Come on. Hello, everybody. Hello. No, no. The show is a riot of bright plumage. Cascades and trills that bring an atmosphere of sun-bathed isles of the tropics to the prosaic halls of the Crystal Palace. New Zealand buys British military aircraft. At Brooklyn's aerodrome, Weybridge, Sir James Parr, High Commissioner in London, watches the first test flight of a new machine, the Wildebeest torpedo bomber. Twelve of this type of machine have been ordered by the Dominion government. As High Commissioner for New Zealand, I have been pleased to witness a demonstration flight of the Vickers Wildebeest torpedo bomber aircraft. Some little pigs go to market. Some little pigs may fly. But these Peter Porkers save their bacon by skiing at Skytop, Pennsylvania. The girls and boys think it terrific fun, but the pigs are not so sure. I mean to say, even a pig has his dignity. Gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to introduce to you Chummy Barton, the 80-year-old Winchelsea Shepherd, who is captaining the local team at this tournament, the Shove Penny Tournament. And also Bob Simpson of Victoria, who is captaining the London team. May the best side win. The honourable and ancient game of Shove Hapney gets official recognition when the Mayor of Hastings gives his blessing to the championship match between the Sank Ports and London. London got a drubbing by 24 horses to three. They say they'd have won if they'd used halfpennies instead of pennies, but perhaps it was the fact that they greased the board with good Sussex ale 